This is Darren with Smart Sheet Guru. We're going to look at how you can take multiple conditional formatting rules and apply them easily to other sheets. Okay, so we have a project plan template here. You can see we've added some conditional formatting to format the status column. And I have a couple project plans here I've created off of this template before I added that conditional formatting. So you can see these uh, conditional formatting rules are all blank. Now, if I wanted to replicate these conditional formatting rules from the template into these additional plans, like into project one, I'd have to go and uh, add each of these rules manually um, under normal circumstances. However, we have the SS Features browser extension installed, so we can easily just take all these rules here. We can go copy rules. We're going to select them all. Open up that project plan one here. We come to conditional formatting. We paste the rules. There they are. All three of them done. Couple clicks. Let's go to project plan two here. We'll do the same thing. Paste it in. Okay. There we go. We're done. We've created um, some additional formatting rules in that template and brought them over to these other sheets. Let's go ahead, let's add another one real quick just so you can see the whole process. I'm going to add an additional rule here. Let's say when uh, the status is, let's say not started, we're going to change the whole row. We'll change the whole row to See this, this color here. We're going to save that. So I come in here and I can do copy rules again. Now I've already applied the other rules, so I'm just going to select that single rule here. Open my project plan one. Paste that in. Save it. Go to two. Paste it in. Save it. There, we're done. Now, there is an additional feature with this conditional formatting. So we have a sheet here, and it shows project spend by store. Um, and I have one column already set up to say if uh, the project, uh, the budget spend is over 100%, then it, it uh, changes the color and makes the text large. Now, we look at that rule here, and the condition column is this January budget spend percentage, and it is applying that format to the uh, January budget spend percent column. So both the uh, formatting condition column and the application column are the same. Now we have 12 months here. We want to do it for all the months in this sheet. If we were to do this manually, of course, we could, we could copy this rule clone it, and then change the, the columns. We'd have to do that 11 more times. Now, using the SS features option though, we can use the clone rule for columns. Once we click clone rule for columns, we can then select the columns we want to apply this to. Now, I'm not going to do it to all of them. I only want to do it to these 11. So I'm going to do okay. And there we go. It has applied now to all the other columns in the sheet that I want it to apply to. Um, and you can see it's live, so uh, April does not have any. Let's say we put something over 100% and there we go, it has been applied. SS Features also offers a generous 30 day, no obligation free trial. And as a partner of SS Features, you can use my code GURU to get 20% off your first subscription payment. Thanks for watching.